Hi, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use Google AdWord Planner to come up with some optimum keywords for your website. So here's an example of a bunch of things. We're going to learn how to do this in this video. So this is in a direct response to David. He said, how can we find uncompetitive keywords using Google Keyword Planner in a way that Ahrefs does? And it's quite simple. So we're going to jump into Google Keyword Planner. So that's ads.google.com. Uh, you can just <laughs> type at the top and then we're just going to click discover new keywords. Uh, what we're also going to do here is we're going to look for our niche. So in this particular instance, we are going to look at portable fans. That's going to be our niche. Can you guess what's in front of me? And we're going to pick a website that clearly does really, really well for portable fans. And apparently I'm just picking all, maybe not all fans. Let's pick a, uh, what kind of dogs are there? British Bulldogs, British, yeah, ooh. So we can see that Hills Pet is doing pretty well. I want to say the Kennel Club. So the Kennel Club, this website clearly like it's ranking really well for dogs. So we're going to take this website, we're going to throw it, ooh, start with a website, and we'll throw it into here. I find if you remove all of this, and actually if you remove the HTTPS, I don't know why, it just does better. So in this example, I'll zoom in even more. That's too much. Google can't handle that level of zoom. But in this example, you can see that uh, we're putting in search by the website and use the entire site. So doing this, this will basically let us steal all of the keywords that this website's ranking for. This website's potentially, or these keywords, if we were to rank for all of them, we'd be ranking for almost half a million clicks per uh, month crazy i'd love that like the best one in particular being dogs and ticks and the worst one obviously being kennel cub combi breed go away but it doesn't like that when you're mega zoomed in so this is cool we can see this low competition this is admittedly for ads but this normally relates to what actually websites are ranking for because if no one's paying for ads you probably don't want to write an article for it either because you're not going to make any money from ads so we, what we're doing here is I'm clicking export and I'm clicking export to Google Sheets. Then I'm just going to call it COB2 because I've already got COB1. And give Google 10 million minutes because it's really slow and it should pop up a thing at the bottom to say that the site is ready. Here we go. So I'm just going to open this sheet straight away. This is exactly the same data that we just saw in Google. Oh, I've just Sorry, turned lads. I didn't understand. Shut up, Google. So this is the exact same data that we've just seen uh, before. I'm going to delete the top two rows though because they're just in the way and they're not the headers. So these are the headers that we care about. Oops, and if I don't start typing randomly. And the things that we ultimately care about are going to be before this. So I'm going to delete uh, J through Z because you don't care about them. Uh, all we really want is this and this. In fact, I'll tell you what, let's delete all these. So, eh, no, we won't. We'll leave them there. Uh, but what this is telling us, this is a rank from 0 to 100 of how high the competition is. So, I'm sure there's some stuff with much higher competition. 64. This will probably be a, a, like something that people will pay money for. Stopping nipping puppy. So, that'll be for puppy training. Let's look for something else that's high. Uh, 100 so it's going to be like a buy thing puppy toilet trainer so yeah again if you're searching for something to train your puppy toilet uh, toilet train your puppy you're going to be willing to pay 65 cents per click and it's going to be good and here registered puppy breeders so that is presumably you're going to be buying a puppy so all of these things are like good ones so how do we take this list of everything Let's just make it slightly bigger so you can read it. How do we take this list of everything and then produce something that's of value to us? How do we prioritize this list and make it so that we know, let's do this first because it's going to be the most profitable. So the first thing we want to identify is how much, like, how much potential there is for this page. So if we were to rank, like rank number one, get every single one of these 30 searches and get paid, so in this instance, 720 searches and get paid 44 cents because everyone that lands on our page is clicking on an advert. How much would that be? So let's add two extra columns to the right. So this is our value potential. Right. Imagine if everyone was to go on the page and they were to click on an ad. 
So this is the maximum you could possibly make. It's unrealistic because you'll never make this much, but this this is like the the best we could hope for. I'm going to take not top of page, but like the average. So H2 here. And I'm just going to also do if exists, I think the command is. Oh, is it if null? If it equals. I can't remember the command. My brain's gone dead. Uh, tell you what, we'll just do that. That comes out as zero, so it's fine. And from here, so that that's what we could get in an ideal world. So if I just turn these on to filters, which is really hard when you've zoomed in the page this much. So I click on that and I click on the filter button. You'll probably have that straight off. I can then sort this column by that. And I could see the thing that's most valuable is probably going to be buy something. Oh, Kennel Club puppies, KC puppy finder. I guess Kennel Club is something that pays a lot of money for sale as you can see like that's going to be worth loads of money because it, obviously if people are buying a puppy they're going to be buying a puppy uh, so now you want a cob and what we're going to do for this is in fact let's make this column be money because that is money uh, yeah we'll keep the two decimal places now what we're going to do here is we're going to take the value potential so how much money we could make if we were ranking number one equals sum of j2 and then we're going to divide it not multiply we're going to divide it by the difficulty so if it's very high difficulty that's going to be a larger number and we divide it by a larger number it's going to leave us a small number if the difficulty is very low we're going to be dividing it by a smaller number which is going to mean that we've got a higher number here so in this instance it's going to be j2 by g2 I can't off the top of my head because it's too early in the morning. Remember what the uh, the thing is for if it's zero to not do it, but it's fine because it's not the end of the world. We're going to create a filter again here. And on this filter, we can now... So actually, let's turn this to not be... This is a number, but it's not... It's not a... Uh, it's not a... Uh, money and let's just shrink the decimals a couple of places so this this is like a value oh come back mouse this is a value that represents like how how much sense it makes to prioritize this particular keyword so as you can see i've got a bunch of divide by zeros so we can ignore those because i've not done the formula that strips out the zero because if you're dividing by a competition of I tell you what, let's let's just tweak the competition value from zero. And we'll just put it at one. This is not going to let me do what I want to do, is it? So I'm going to put that one wherever it's zero. Normally, I would use the correct formula, but like I say, my brain is dead this morning. So I've just tweaked those to one. It's got rid of our divided by zero error, and we will just sort again from Z to A. So now, knowing this. I can see that this keyword that's got a value potential of seven thousand like dollars. If we were rank one, they'd get seven thousand. It's got a competition of two, so it should be very easy to rank for. People are paying quite a bit of money to be on there, and there's almost ten thousand monthly searches. Drum roll, please. The keyword that we should probably go for first is Kennel Club Puppies. I don't know if that was the name of this site, was it? Yeah, so you've got to use a bit of like uh, ingenuity here. Like we're not going to rank for someone else's keyword like that. Not keyword, their brand. So we're not going to rank for Kennel Club Puppies. Uh, KC is probably Kennel Club Cubby again. So all of these we can just we can just straight up ignore because they're not they're not relevant to us. However, tick biting dog, like that people are paying probably top dollar it's increasing as well of note increased by 23 percent it's like over a fifth per year top of the page they're paying almost a dollar that's probably a dollar so this is gbp great british pounds value present potential very similar to the keywords around it and as you can see it's like right up there in terms of our prioritization and <clears throat> Yeah, so I, I would run right now Tick Bite and Dog as the first article I'd prioritize. Like there's less searches than the next one down, 
but the value potential is very, very similar. So you can see if we just looked at this from a, a less objective view, we might not have spotted this keyword because it's got less searches, etc., etc. But I can see, I mean, I can see from the first three that here that going after going after dogs and ticks is like a brilliant thing that we should do. And there's huge potential monthly searches and terrible competition, as in like rubbish, like we can beat them easily. And then as you go down here, lungworm, that's something that, again, loads of searches, loads of potential money, signs of lungworm. You stick some lungworm medication on there, brilliant. I, I would imagine, the, here we go, like people are paying £1.61 $1 to be at the top for this. Ticks again, like, but all of these are low competition. So let's go for it. Like, let's run these articles and you're going to make the most money possible because like even competition of 10 is not going to be too much of a challenge. It's not until you start getting down here. It's actually got less searches and it's harder to rank for. Like, people are paying <laughs> pretty rubbish as well. Like our value potential, it starts dropping like a fly. But at the same time, I do want to touch on, you can have stuff with less value potential up here. So this one's 82, but because this will either have super low competition or like good volume, not necessarily, but it, it, oh, it's because it, within the, the competition ranking that it sits in, it's worth prioritizing. Like you'll get more bang for your buck, so more potential advert value or uh, affiliate And we would stick this in the Ahrefs keyword tool. Yeah, I can spell. So this is free, completely free. Just go to their website, stick in tick by in dog. And they're showing it as a keyword difficulty of nine, a volume of 100. Please note the volumes never line up because they don't. Google's going to be the better thing for volume, but they're still all guesses. Like It, it involves people showing up and doing it. And we can also steal some extra keywords here. Again, these are all saying they're low volume, but it's probably worth running. Don't don't be scared of volume of zero in Ahrefs or SEMrush and stuff like that. Trust Google more than you trust um, trust those things. If Google says the 2,900 average set <coughs> average monthly searches, guess what? There's probably 2,900 average searches because they've got the data for their tool. And there we go. That's how you use Google AdWord Planner. That's how you pick good keywords. That's how you like prioritize your content strategy, assuming you've got enough authority. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.